Hey guys, Troy here. Welcome to the Striker Blade YouTube channel. This is a very informal video, so sorry that there's not going to be any fancy uh, B-roll shots or things like that. This is kind of straightforward to the point. I have my Larkbox Pro disassembled. You can see all the parts out here on the table. And what I am doing in this modification is I am replacing the thermal pad that you can see here, and I am replacing that with a thin piece of copper that I had from actually a old projector heat sink. Uh, if you can believe that, it was a pretty small projector, so I just cut the, uh, the piece of copper off of that. And I'm now on the step where I'm going to be sanding this down to size. And of course, at the end of this video, I will be showing you if there's any improvement to my thermal performance. This is probably going to be difficult to see on camera, but you can see how thinly sanded this is now. And it fits almost perfectly inside of here. I have maybe a tenth of a millimeter too thick on this piece, but let me go ahead and put it back together. I'm going to be using Arctic Silver 5 Thermal Paste. Here's the board. And that very thin piece of metal right there in the middle is the piece that I just made. All right, so we are starting out at 37 degrees Celsius. I'm gonna go ahead and click start on the CPU test. And we'll just let this run for a little bit and get the system up to temp. And we'll see how things go from there. It's only been a couple of seconds so far, and immediately I notice a difference. This is a very slow increase in temperature, and I've been at 100% here. Normally, the temperature will rise rather quickly and then hover around the 60-ish degrees Celsius number, but this has been a slow, gradual rise in temperature, so that is pretty optimistic that this modification has actually made quite an improvement. It looks like it's hovering and going to continue this cycle of turning the fan on 56 degrees, dropping down in temps, and then turning the fan off. I'm going to go ahead and click stop here and I'll come back to it in a minute or two and see how the temperatures have fallen off. Now that I've been idling here for quite a while, we've reached the rather disappointing part of this video and that is that this modification is pointless to do and the reason why is yes you will definitively get lower maximum temps the disappointing part is the equilibrium temperature of this computer at idle is higher than the temperature in which the fans turn on meaning as it sits here, once you reach 55 degrees Celsius, the fans will turn on, and in terms of noise and how frequently the fans turn on and off and on and off, there is no difference. I would like to try this one more time using a liquid metal thermal paste. I would like to purchase the Thermal Grizzly Conductonaut and see if that creates a good enough connection between the CPU and the heatsink to where it will idle at a temperature lower than 55 degrees Celsius. Now I'd have to go out and actually purchase that stuff. So if this is something that you'd be interested in seeing, please leave a comment down below, let me know, and definitely share this video on Chewy's forums or Reddit or wherever Larkbox Pro enthusiasts hang out. I'm not really familiar with, with those online forums. If people are interested in it, of course, I'll try it again with a liquid metal. Alright, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next video.